In this video lesson, we're going to try to take the knowledge that we learned from the bird feeder and apply that to this ball that has a hole in all three axes. So the first thing we need to do, same as we did with the bird feeder, is try to come up with some kind of strategy. What main feature are we going to try to start off with, and then how are we going to go from there? Um, I see a sphere. I see a hollow sphere, and then I see a hollow sphere that has some holes in it, and that's the exact same strategy that I'm going to use. So I'm going to create a ball, I'm going to go ahead and hollow it out and see if I can't poke some holes into it. Um, let me see what I can do. So the unique thing here is when I come to shell, I don't have any faces to remove. Since I don't have any faces to remove, it doesn't know which part I actually want to select. So this is where I'm actually going to have to pick hollow. Once you pick hollow, it says parts to hollow, and that's something you actually have to pick. If you don't pick the parts to hollow, then it doesn't know which one to hollow. It knew earlier when I picked a face that whatever part that face was attached to is what I wanted it to hollow out. So I'm actually going to just pick the ball, and unfortunately you can't see anything happen yet. Not until I go ahead and poke the holes into it. And again, I don't know the shell thickness yet, so we'll do that here in a second. Okay, so just as I did with the bird feeder, I really would like to start out with something that's more realistic to its final shape, and then go ahead and put some holes that are proportionally into it. So I'd like to know exactly how big this sphere needs to be and how thick. Um, so let me go over to the specs and see if I can't figure that out from the working drawing. All right, let's see if we can interpret this and find the dimensions that we need. It says that I have a four inch diameter, and I'm guessing that's for the entire sphere. You may also see it written like this. You may also see an SR, and an SR stands for a spherical radius of 2.0 whatever. So instead of giving me a diameter, there are times where they'll give you a radius of that instead. So you could have a spherical radius of 2 or a diameter of 4. We also have a wall thickness of 0.25, and then we have a hole 1.875 TYP, so all three holes must be identical. And those are the only three dimensions that I really have. Something that tells me how big the ball is going to be, how thick the wall is going to be, and how big the holes are. Alright, so let's see if we can adapt the ball first before I go ahead and throw the holes in there. So now I'm starting out with a 4 inch diameter ball, or a 2 inch spherical radius ball, and then I have a shell thickness of 0.25. And now all I need to do is go ahead and poke the holes in there. Okay, great. So you could have put the dimensions on the holes as you went, unless you didn't know them. So if you didn't know them, then you could proportionately just draw them as you wanted, and then go ahead and put the dimensions on later. So I'm going to go back to the working drawing and look at them. They were 1.875 each. And so now all I need to do is go ahead and put the diameters on there, and that should finish it for me. So really the big difference between this one and the bird feeder was how the shell got used. I didn't have a face to remove, and since I didn't, that didn't identify a part for me. So I had to select hollow, and I had to pick the part that I actually wanted to hollow. And that's really it. The rest of it should have been decently straightforward.